back here and it went all the way across the other side. <laughs> and what do you do with that? <laughs> Nobody's won, nothing's happened. And the kids looked at me and I'm like, <laughs> and then they, they, at one point, they went, ran through, <laughs> past the other people, and they got their bag for the other team, figured out what happened. <laughs> It's only happened once in my entire. They hang on to the rope. And they hang on to the rope the yeah. whole time. It, it was pretty interesting. Mm. Now, if the if the whistle would have blown to move the bag, we would have had to try and go get the bag. <laughs> back. Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be for like the division circle. four. Are we doing one heat? One heat. And division which four dash? Is which dash would it be starting at? All the way back. Right. Twelve. Yeah. It, well, okay. Good, good question. Because it's in the age. Okay. Okay. Back. Good. Good question. Something we haven't encountered yet. <laughs> so, and yeah, and this was, I see Jake, I, I got him turned around. He's pointing right. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the reason we make a point of this, when uh, PowerPoint brings this in, this, well, actually this you're guy is pointing the other direction. Yeah, but you're back on, the, on your line, though. You're not on the side. Yeah. yeah. He's just yeah. looking the right way. He's, 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 he's right facing way. the center, at least. Yeah, he's yeah. facing the center. <laughs> Okay. And you want to be down on your knee. You don't want yeah. to try to move it with your foot. Yes. No. Yes, that's another yeah. another good thing. Uh, move move the bag with your with your hand. Yeah. Right. Don't be. Another don't good be way is to be ready it. like this. Yeah. Yep. Have it above when it's. Ready. If it's so close, it. I like yeah. to have, kind of have my hand right. behind it, pushing right. it up. So if they go to grab it, I'm not interfering right. with them either. The the big problem is with the older kids is that. <clears throat> You don't want to be directly behind them. It's not so much with the TNTers because oh, yeah. they don't weigh as much, but if the rope roll becomes to the destabilized, they can come flying back at you. It hurts. And they land on you. If it's Trek and Journey kids, they'll come back, you know, like a speeding bullet at you, and you could end up getting seriously hurt. So as a line, as a circle line judge, if uh, when your team wins, make sure you jump up, make a big big show of it. It's exciting for the kids. Congratulate them. Smile and everything. It's good. Uh, sprint race and get marathon. the bean bag back. Sometimes yeah. they'll run off with the bean bag. Yes. <laughs> sprint marathon race. Marv, you want to do this one? Sure. Yeah. Uh, sprint, sprint marathon is run around real fast and get in there first, right? So, but uh, again, uh, want to mark Player's hand. We're going to count the laps. Uh, do we go like this to help? You know, no, generally you do it behind your back or something like that. But some way to, it's not very obvious. Watch your zone again. Let's see where's the So you want to watch your zone. So you're watching this pin after the start. Uh, Got to watch for the false starts at the beginning. Uh, watch for uh, the passing. We, there is no tag rule in these. No tag rule. So uh, we don't have to worry about a tag rule and and these running events. They just keep on, and then watch the finish. So you're positioned on your team color corner, and then you just watch the uh, your quadrant here. It's, it's so there's no happening. tag rule anymore? There's no tag rule. So that makes it even more important that you right. keep track of right. the laps your kid is right. on. It's, it's not really a problem in the sprint, but it can be a problem in the marathon. marathon. Yeah. Sometimes there's some really fast marathoners in the they pass. Uh, event six, balloon volley. Uh, the watch for the balloon to break the plane that be the line. So you're going to be positioned. Let's see, on your on your line there. Uh, so you want to be looking down whatever your team line there. So if you're in red, you're also helping with the yellow line too. So you kind of got to watch as the balloon. Uh, if it gets near a corner, you got to make that decision, kind of back up and try and make the decision which line did it go across. Did it go across yellow or the red or whatever uh, team line you're on? On a three way, you're standing at the pin? Yes. Three way, when you have it set up, usually let's say, if, uh, let's see. You're still standing in the corner on a three way. Yeah. You're still standing in the corner. Yeah. That's, That's right. the hardest. You're still standing three because. Yep. Yeah, yeah, because so it, you could. But you got to watch where the pin might be if it's... Well, the circle director is going to determine, right? because the pins are set up in the middle of the line, the right. circle director will determine whether it's right or left of that pin. Right. You've got to determine whether it broke the plane. Which which plane it broke. Now, does it does the whole 
b balloon have to cross the Break line? Any part of it. Break any plane. part of the balloon that crosses the line, it, and it's a win, okay? And signal uh, with authority, as it says here, if the line is crossed. Uh, for three ways, check with your circle director. On well, three way, you're going to put the two pins together, right? Right. To yeah, kind we've of done that zones as well. Yeah. It helps the kids, I think. Right. Who, who uh, if there is a, if the balloon has to restart, is that the circle director circle. restarts? Yes. So if, if the balloon uh, just hits the floor, and as long as they're keeping it going, it's uh, still good. If it uh, gets kicked, they'll restart it. Or if somebody like grabs it, they'll get it to restart, here. things like that. Or if they pick it up and, uh, or if they're kind of, you can see like they're kind of cradling it between two hands or something like that, the, like uh, the circuit director will stop and re restart it. There's uh, where you're looking when you're on the lines. Bean bag bonanza. Okay, this is uh, the, the strike bag is placed. Let's see if we got it here. Yes, there you are. Bean bag bonanza. Uh, a, a strike bag is placed in the center, uh, and then the colored bag is started with the first person. This person goes in, switches the bag. Do they throw it in? No, they have, it's supposed to be placed in the, in the triangle. Again, if the uh, bean bag goes outside of their little triangle, uh, DQ, right? If they cross this line before they touch the <coughs> bean bag, DQ also, okay? Is so the bag or in, the person? What? If the bag, if the bag has not crossed the line or if the person, person crosses the line? Person. Person. Not the bag. So they switch the bean bag out, hands it to the next person. They go in, switch it out. When this person gets the first time, they switch the bean bag, they come back to the first person here again, and they do a switch. And then that person, if they're coached properly, should run around and get ready to go there. So they go through the team two times. The second time, this person gets the bean bag, they go straight into their pin. They do not have to go around their pin. You don't have to switch the bean bag, they go straight they do not, right. They do not have to switch, and they do not have to go around their pin. And the strike bag is the one that's in the middle? At the start. Okay. And they, I think they end up with the strike bag, if I'm correct, because we just did that last Monday. When this is done properly, yeah. it's a cool oh, event yeah. to watch. Yeah. Uh, the, the constant motion, the yes. quick. If you're coaching your kids, uh, a lot of it is just the footwork. Yes. To go in and make how many ever many steps, plant the foot, place the bag, turn around yeah. out. Yeah. You, know. you got to use two hands. Yeah. If, the if, they, if they're coach track, right, they'll use two hands, place, pick, you know, at the same you, time. You, you don't move right. as a line judge right. like you do in right. bean bag relay. Right. right. Good point. On that for, because if you move down there with them, <laughs> you you're going to be in the way <laughs> the second time. The way <laughs> the second time. <laughs> when the second time. Um, yeah. So. But if, if they coach it right, this person should be should run run to the right of this person. So make sure you're out of the way on that. So and they're one arm length right. apart. Yeah. Um, start. So they're not bunching up at the into a corner or something. You know, yeah. all down there by their pin. Yeah, like being you know, by the red line. Um, their arm length. Apart. Like being After they start, they, are, they're moving around sometimes, and that's incidental, but. Um, they're an arm it's actually part. better if you are space up because you have to switch places anyway. So if I'm judging the red team, am I am I there or am I at the other one? Look, you're over by right there with right there. Okay. So you're standing on the blue. You're standing on the blue line for the red team. Right. And but then I want to make sure I. Right. I guess I don't have to step because you're not going to go. So generally, if you just step. Stand just to the that side of the blue line. You should be clear. I mean, the second time through, you could okay. kind of walk with yeah. them, right? But you that'll help. So that then you're out of the way of this team, just in case they get a little wild. One of the things we didn't go over on beanbag relays is that 
as you're walking down that line with them, as they're throwing the beanbag, anything that happens behind you, right. you don't see. Right. What you can't see, you can't call. Mm -hmm. And so then sometimes kids get excited, especially when oh, it was yeah. Division One. we have a big team. Yeah. Kids step over the line. Right. So the kid steps over the line behind you when they're jumping up and down, they're all excited because the game's ending and their team's ahead. You can't call it. Mm. Um, <laughs> and that's, that. that's the beauty of walking down that line, yeah. as opposed to being the planted back. down there trying to watch the whole team. And then the kid's already thrown the beanbag, he's jumping up and down excited, he steps over the line, now you have to call it. We do that in football all the time. If you're on the sideline, the kid's running to get off, or there'll be too many people. In the if you oh. just take a couple steps forward, he gets behind you and you can't see if he made it off or not. You're not going to call him. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, so there's switching the beanbag on. Oh, balloon relay. <laughs> this is my favorite. Game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, when it's it, done right, it's a thing of beauty. When it's done poorly, it just looks awful. <laughs> I have a sinking suspicion that up in heaven right now, uh, Art Rohrheim is helping to redirect people who have been reinterpreting that game. <laughs> okay, bill, bill, balloon relay. Uh, we, uh, a lot of, we, we do have wristbands, I think. A lot of times we don't have them in the bins, but it, so try and pick something out that, like with the girls, if they have a certain thing, although a lot of teams have the same thing. In their hair or whatever. As you look at shoes. So look for something. Yeah, shoes is another way. Uh, count. If you count to five, then you know how many times it's been rotated. So uh, count it way through. But uh, watch balloon go through the four different pairs of legs each time around. So zone one, you have one person standing here. Your feet have to be in front of this. Uh, the hash. The what is the eight foot mark? So you have to stay. You have to stay in front of that. The next three people are in zone two, and then one person has to be behind the circle in zone three. It has to pass through the people in zone one and zone two. So the four people on the, that are they have to be straddling the line at the when they pass the balloon, right? At the start of the game. At the start of the game. And one one and five have right. to be straddling. Right. One and five have to be straddling. Uh, so. And this first one in zone three, the fifth person cannot cross that line until they touch Touched. the balloon. So if it touches and flies off, they've they've done that. So they can cross the line at any time after that. Uh, so what? Make sure follow balloon down the line. Watch for violations. Watch for finish. Uh, the biggest violation is usually one foot. It's usually, if, the, if they're coming up on this side, it's usually the right foot. So, let's see if they got it right here. We are positioned on this side of the line so that you can see that usually that trailing foot is the one that will be behind this, this line. So, if their foot is way out here and behind, it's still a, a DQ. Usually in that zone three, right. um, those qualifications not being in front of the line right. to get the balloon, it's, it's not straddling. straddling. Right. Um, the other one. So sometimes you got a kid, he'll be camped out in front of that circle line. And it's like, well, that's fine if he's camped out. He hasn't touched the balloon. And at the last second, they'll step behind the Jump line. back, yeah. But they won't be straddling it. Uh -huh. And then once they touch the balloon, that's when you make the call. Right. So they could be, you're saying that that person, the third person, could be outside that white line this one? and then the jump back? The, the, the fifth the, person. Yeah. Sometimes they'll be, be they'll stand there and not realize they're, they're just so excited of the game. Then all of a sudden they realize, oh, I got to be back here. They're, they're just standing in front okay. of the circle. They're not disqualified until they touch that blue. They're not disqualified. Right. Okay. So they're they're camped out in right. front of that circle line, and then the last second all of a sudden they go whoa, and they jump behind the line, but they're not straddling that center line. They have to be behind it and straddling. It. All right. So when when you're standing here, of course. Stay out of the way as they come forward. Hey. I guess that's it. Any questions? Division four again is uh, 